We're standing here at the Ruger booth at Shot Show, and I'm here with Mike Pfeiffer. And uh, you know, Mike's been a—he's a big deal in this industry. He won't tell anybody that, but you know, Mike is is one of the few CEOs in this building that you can walk up and talk to. Uh, you know, there's some in here I could make an appointment with and see because of what I do. But uh, Mike will talk to anybody. I've seen him at shows, NRA shows. He works gun shows. He works gun stores. He just—and that's why Ruger is kicking butt in this industry because. Uh, him and all his executives on down, they talk to people. They want to know what people want. He's one of the few uh, CEOs in the world, I guess, that you can send an email to off his website and, and tell him what you think. But anyway, Mike, how long you been with Ruger? Jeff, I've been here uh, ten and a half years. And you're about ready to retire, right? I am. You know, it's the people in this industry that makes it so good. You know, guns come out all the time, but, but you know, Ruger has done amazing things. Um, I know y'all don't give out many numbers, but you got any idea how many guns Ruger has sold since you've been there? Ooh, well, we were the first company to ever do a million guns a year. I remember that. And then the first to ever do two million. I remember that too. And we've done that a couple of times. So. I was amazed when you did the one million, then it was the next year you did two million, right? Yeah. Well, do you beat your people with a whip, or how does that work? No, but let's see, when I first got here, we did uh, about 400,000 guns. Uh-huh. And uh, it took a couple of years to sort of get everything pointed in the right direction and then we did a million then we did two million so I I don't know probably at least 10 million guns probably at least a million a year since I've been here and still growing the thing about you know guns they don't go away and it's not like buying a, a cell phone you know two years from now you throw it away and get something new uh, Ruger's here forever I got one was made the first week that Ruger was in business I started making guns back in 1949 uh, and it's got a lot of Ruger since then you know Ruger they keep producing new products, they keep producing what people want, and that's the reason they're as successful as they are. And a lot of that is owed to this man, uh, Mike Pfeiffer. Oh, you know, you. he works like he works the show floor here. You notice his badge says Mike Pfeiffer. It don't say Mike, I'm King of Ruger and that kind of stuff. Most of the CEOs, if they're in this building, they're upstairs in a little booth, just talking to people with a lot of money. Mike's not like that. He's on the floor. All of his executives are on the floor. They talk to people, and they we, get things and we done. have more fun that way, too. Yeah, too. I, I, hear you, I hear you bought a boat, is that correct? Uh, I might have a couple of fishing rods. Well, uh, uh, now I was wondering, are you going to stay down in the bottom like you did in the submarine, or, or are you going to get up top every now and then? I'm going to be on top. In fact, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to get to do a lot more hunting and fishing. Right. And I had the Ruger record at 1,800 yards, mm -hmm. but one of the guys just shot an 18-inch plate at 2,000 yards. Wow, that's and amazing. And so I got my work cut out for me. With I a precision get out rifle? There with a precision rifle. I can't tell you what caliber because it's top secret. It's new, but you'll get the first one when they come out. I hope so. I hope. I know Chris is taking over your spot, right? Yep. Chris Kaloa, he's a good man. I've known him for years. Uh, in fact, everybody, you know, one of the things, when you first started, uh, some of the executives that was already here, uh, they said one thing they liked about you was uh, you give them an answer. Uh, Mike was a, he was a, uh, officer on a submarine it was your career, I guess, for how many years? Uh, nine years. And he's used to making decisions, and uh, and the guys would come to him, they'd say, Michael, give us an answer. Might not be the answer we want, but he'll give us an answer. He won't put us off. So, anyway, Mike, congratulations on what you've done here with Ruger, and I know they're going to continue to grow. And Are you staying on in, in any capacity? I am. I'm going to help out a little bit on the side with some new products, because that's the part I really love. Good. I know you do. So. You know, you've You've been, a, you've been a big deal in this industry, and we yeah. appreciate you and the people at Ruger. You know, when, when we started Gunblast back in 2000, most of the companies in this building, they looked at me like I was an idiot. They thought, you know, you can't do a magazine online. It's not going to work. Ruger jumped in right right from the start. They, they saw the future of the Internet and how it was going to be. And, and now, you know, uh, I can talk to just about anybody in here. But back then, most of them wouldn't talk to me. One thing, I, you know, I look like a, a biker, which I am, but... Uh, you know, I wasn't wearing a suit and that kind of thing, but the people of Ruger has always been good to us, and we appreciate you and the things you've been doing. And this is Mike Pfeiffer with Stern Ruger. Thank you. I'm sitting here in the loophole booth at Shock Show with John. They got a new line of scopes called the LRP. He's going to tell us a little bit about them. Go ahead, John. 
Thanks, Jeff. So the, the LRP is actually the third phase in our rollout of the VX3i that we did last year. So people have been asking for some more advanced features in the VX3 for a while. So we're trying to give them what, what they asked for. Uh, so what we did is uh, in our longer range scopes, our 4.5 to 14, the 6.5 to 20, and 8.5 to 25, we now have front focal reticles available. Um, you can still get it with a second focal plane reticle, but we also have front focal reti reticles available. Um, you can get them with either MOA reticles and MOA adjustments or mill reticles and mill adjustments. And so what that does, it just allows the shooter to kind of optimize the scope for whatever style of shooting they're doing. Um, great for long range hunters. People are starting to get into trying to shoot a little bit farther distances. So we've got a new elevation adjustment that's a little bit easier for people to dial. Uh, people that are just getting into dialing for elevation adjustments. Um, it's got big numbers big lines on it so it's easy to see it's it's really easy for people who aren't used to um, trying to stretch their rifles out to, to ease into it and, and kind of get into the game a little bit um, it, like I said they can put it on a long-range hunting rifle it's great for guys that want to use their long-range gun to try and try to break into some competitions a little bit um, comes with a throw lever attached if they don't want to run it with a throw lever it will also have a little plug in the box that you can put in the power selector ring um, the, Scope comes with a capped windage dial. A lot of guys like to dial their wind, so we're also going to provide you a little thread protector that'll screw on there if you want to run with the cap off. What about, what's the price point on these scopes? These are going to, it's actually really reasonable. They're going to retail starting out at $850 uh, and go up to just under $1,000. Well, that's about half what I expect from a scope like that, so it looks good. Are these available now? Uh, they'll be shipping in mid February. All right, thanks a lot, John. Standing here in Davidson's booth, they've got some exclusive. Really uh, saw this interesting camo they got here, and Sabrina's going to tell us a little bit about it. Go ahead, Sabrina. This is our digital red camo. It's our exclusive. You can only get it from a Davidson's dealer or galleryofguns.com. You can order it right online. If you have any questions about it, give us a call. Um, but it's our exclusive. You can only get it from us. Uh, is this the is that the Ruger American or what is it? This is the Ruger 9E. 9E, okay. Central 9. It's a real affordable uh, 9 millimeter pistol, right? Yep, great affordability. Um, comes with one magazine, everything you need, the basics. Uh -huh. And then this one is our LC9S. That uh, one is great, a little bit smaller, great for concealed carry. And they got really good trigger pulls on it. Oh, yeah. Really nice gun. Anyway, Amazing. Davidson's good people to deal with. They back up the product, uh, even beyond the manufacturer's warranty. If, if your gun comes from Davidson's or Gallery of Guns, you have a problem with it, they'll take care of you. You can order online, galleryofguns.com. Standing here with Mark in the Colt booth. Uh, we got to shoot our little Cobra yesterday a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna let him tell you a little bit about it. Go ahead, Mark. Uh, this is a reintroduction of the Cobra. It's an all stainless steel, six shot compact revolver. Two inch barrel. We have a fiber optic sight, but it's easily changed. We have an Allen screw that holds it in place in the front. So the guy at home can pop it out, put a night sight in or a black sight, whatever his preference is. Um, has the traditional clockwise rotation, and one of the benefits of that is, as the gun's rotating to go up, it actually locks the cylinder into the gun better. We've opened up the trigger guard, make it a little easier to use with gloves on, straighten the trigger out quite a bit, so it gives you a little bit better leverage to feel a much smoother trigger, and by redesigning the, the V-spring inside of it, it gives us a straight trigger pull. When you put it on a trigger pull grab, you'll see it goes up and goes straight across. There's no peaks or anything. Matter of fact, we've tested this against some of our pythons we've had in the vault, and this has a better trigger pull than our pythons. I noticed yesterday shooting it that it had a, the trigger don't stack. Correct. It's a smooth trigger through and, and a good pull. Easy to shoot. Oh, very easy. And you know, we made it out of stainless steel and six shot. It's a compact gun, but some of them, if you make them too light, 
people shoot five or six rounds through it, they say, ooh, that hurt, and they don't want to shoot anymore. We'll make it so that they'll practice with it, it's durable, and last them a lifetime like our older, all of our other products do. Now, when will these hit the market? Uh, they're scheduled to be in production this month, so they should be out very soon. Okay, thanks, Mark. Yep. Cimarron booth. We're looking for new stuff here at Shot Show. Everybody's they're watching our channel. They want to see the new stuff at Shot, and we got some new stuff from Cimarron. I'll let Joe tell you about it. Go ahead, Joe. Jeff, how about a uh, a remake of the Winchester 3030 from Uberti? Uh, this is a deluxe version. It has checkered checkered wood. It's 3030. It's uh, color case hardened, and it looks like it's going to be available in the fall of this year. That means 2017. Cool. What if, else you got? If you want to go with something a little bit smaller, how about a pocket pistol in 380 ACP? 380. So it's uh, it's five shot. It it doesn't have a loading gate, and this too is about probably mid September. I'm standing here with Linda in the Mossberg booth. They've got a new shockwave shotgun. Got to shoot a little bit yesterday, but I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about it. Go ahead, Linda. Well, this was definitely the hit yesterday. Everybody was coming over to shoot it. This is actually a 26-inch overall gun. Uh, people may look at it and wonder how can that be legal because it has a 14-inch barrel, but it actually falls into a category from the BATF of being a firearm versus a shotgun. Uh -huh. Again, the reason that's possible is it has an overall length of 26 inches. Great personal home defense gun. Some of the key things you'll notice here is this grip's a little different. This is the Raptor shock weight grip. That's the name for the gun. Really helps with recoil and control. You have kind of a corn cob style forend with a strap. Again, great control. 12 gauge, it's based on our 590 shotgun, which people should be familiar with. Two and three quarter, three inch gun, 14 inch barrel, has an overall capacity of five plus one rounds. Uh, it, again, just a great personal home defense gun. Retail value of about, uh, price of about $450. Oh, good, Emma? $450. No way. And one thing I want to point out, no tax stamp required, so no special paperwork. Again, it's considered a 14-inch firearm. Oh, I got that much money in my pocket. I'll buy that one. <laughs> I already know you want one. Okay. Yeah, that's a great price, and, and I like the idea, no paperwork. You know, I mean, you got the regular paperwork, 4473, sure. but just like buying any other rifle or pistol. That's right, no waiting period, no tax stamp. The other thing I'll mention, too, there's an adapter available. Uh -huh. So you can actually use the new mini shells. Uh -huh. uh, so that's lower recoil, but it also would increase your capacity for people who like having higher capacity guns for home defense. Great. Are these shipping now? They'll start shipping in March. And what's your website, Linda? It's www.mossberg.com. Right. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. I'm here with Phil in the SIG booth. They've got a real interesting version of his new, uh, 320 here. I'll let him tell you about it. Go ahead, Phil. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is uh, one of the three models of our uh, 320X series line. This is the flagship model, the 320X5. What you've got is, uh, first is a 21 round magazine. This package comes with four of them. And the, uh, the magwell here is extended, but it's also easily removed. One screw out of the back, this pops right off. So if you want to shoot a sport that doesn't allow a magwell, you can do that. Uh, each X5 comes with an internal grip weight. There's actually a, a brass plated grip weight that goes in the grip that adds a little bit of weight to the back of the gun, less recoil. We actually included a, a, a straight trigger in all of our X-Series guns to add even more weight where we wanted it. We actually put a bull barrel, a five inch bull barrel in the gun and took weight where we didn't want it out of the reciprocating slide and lightened the slide on the top. The real interesting thing about this pistol is the sight setup. It's a do uh, standard Dawson fiber optic front, but Dawson's actually building us a, an adjustable rear plate. So the plate comes out, there's two screws underneath 
and you simply take those two screws out. The slide, the sight plate will slide right out, and our Romeo One Optic will go right in, attached to the slide directly. So our X5 is completely Romeo One Optic ready, right out of the box. This gun, four magazines, ready to run for MSRP, one thousand dollars. And what's your website, Phil? Website is SigSour.com. You can go there and see more about this pistol. Thank you, Phil.